guys! How is everybody today? I hope you're doing really great. I hope you're having a nice day and it's not too crazy. I hope you're finding a little bit of peace in your day. Today what I wanted to do is I'm just going to sit down and doodle a little bit on my nails. Um, that may sound a little bit weird, but um, I'm actually going to be doing um, a few designs just as an example for you today of something that I really like to do um, on my nails and it combines my enjoyment of doodling and nail art so you can kind of put them together in one and you can actually wear your doodles out and it's not you know back in um, seventh grade when you used to actually draw on your arm I don't know if anyone else didn't used to do that but I used to draw on my arm and then my mom would go what the heck what's on your arm but um these designs are based off of designs that um, are known um, designs from the art form called Zentangle and they're inspired by those designs but I don't teach those um, you know I'm not a certified teacher or anything I'm not going to attempt to teach you the designs I'm just kind of filming myself doing them so you can just kind of get an idea and you can certainly um, seek out information on it you can google it and find lots of information about the art form if you haven't heard of it and so yeah I'm just gonna show you a few of them today and just kinda chat with you a little bit so these are all mostly pretty self-explanatory that's the nice thing about tangling is um, it's pretty easy to get a hang get the hang of it and it's one of these kind of art forms where you don't you don't necessarily have to be super technically skilled because they a lot of the times follow um, either you know geometric patterns that we're all pretty familiar with things like that and for me I find that they make really striking accent nails um, because from far away they make really they just make striking forms so here's the first one and yeah I top coated it and that's pretty much it by the way the base coat or the base polish I'm using here today is spa ritual I think it's called wilderness and so that's what that pretty um, sparkly peachy pink texture polishes there and I kind of picked that one just because well I was really digging it when I swatched it <laughs> but I thought it would make a nice base and it actually stood out a little bit more than the doodles a little bit so you know you don't I don't know I'm only bringing that up just because as you watch her you might think well this is not really standing out very much which is what I was thinking as I was watching this back um, so you may want to just take something like that into account but I thought it was a pretty color so I was trying to be true to life because what would happen is I would swatch something I would really enjoy wearing it and want to leave it on and then the next day I'd take an accent nail and doodle on it a little bit which is what we're doing today so just kind of filming myself like a few different options that I might do so yeah here's another it's a, it's a completely different design it's based loosely off of a design um, but yeah so I'm just kind of I made all I made that kind of like this initial grid and then I'm doing these half shape half ovals on each sides of some of the lines so anyway I hope everyone's doing really well today I'm at the end of a long day Lots of times when I'm sitting down to chat with you all, I'm at the end of a long day. <laughs> Having the kids back in school is nice. Actually, it is nice, certainly. But I do homeschool one of my sons, and so having them back in school means that I have, you know, there's more work on my plate again. But for our particular situation, homeschooling seems to be far outweighing the extra challenges that it brings me of teaching him so I'm really enjoying it so far I know I have a few other homeschool moms out there hello ladies it's a lot of hard work isn't it but it's rewarding and you know I never thought I'd homeschool because the area that I grew up in we had really just a really nice local school that you didn't really run into too much crazy stuff you know there was a little bit certainly I went the school that I was sending my kids to before we moved down here to Southern California was the same school that I went to when I was growing up and so even when you know when I was there 20 years ago or whatever there was some crazy stuff going on but it really wasn't that bad but we came down here and boy there's just 
they were just bombarded. So, you know, I wanted to take my son's interest into account and I just needed to remove him from that atmosphere and he's definitely been a happier kid. So, we'll just have to see how next year goes. But I don't know, I can't imagine if the grade school is that bad. He's in fifth grade. If the grade school is that bad, I can't even imagine what the middle school would be like. I don't know, I'm kind of terrified at the thought. So, I mean, I understand that at, s at some point he does, you know, have to come to grips with all that crazy stuff. It just feels like at the age of 10, and at his maturity level, I'm just not, he just wasn't, wasn't being able to handle it. So, I don't know. You know, every parent takes that right to decide, you know, what is okay for their child to have to deal with at what ages. So, anyway, yeah, I never thought I'd be a homeschool mom, but I am now, and I enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below if any of, if any of you enjoy tangling. I don't get a chance to do it often enough. I find myself swatching and swatching on my nails lately rather than doing nail art. And when I first fell in love with nails and nail polish, um, it was actually because of nail art. Because I was seeing some cool stuff online and actually, you know what it was, is I would go to the salon to treat myself to get my nails done and I would ask her for a cool design and she would want me to bring you know pictures of what I wanted and I'd bring some stuff in and she'd say well you know I'm not sure if I can do that for you but I'll figure it out and she was doing great work and I was sitting there thinking not that I not that I didn't want to support her and her work but I was sitting there thinking I could probably do this at home and save myself a bunch of money now granted I wasn't getting the treat that you have when you go to a salon and get a manicure that is definitely a treat to have someone sit there and massage your hands and polish them for you and that is such a nice treat but I didn't always have the treat to be able to do it all the time and so I'd have a, a lovely design that she'd give me on my nails for you know a couple weeks at a time and by the third day I was already ready to change it you know how we are with our nail art and so I was like I can't afford to go in there every third day <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just do it at home and then from then it just boom it just took off and I just became obsessed with it and actually it's only been this last year that I've been super into nail polish more than the nail art but nail art really was my first love truly um, as it regards manicures and just the whole nail polish community so yeah, a little little back history on me so we're going to our final top coat on here. As you can see, this one is one that you definitely would want to do on a day that you have a little bit more patience. <laughs> Thin out that black acrylic paint like I always say to do. And we'll zoom out here and you can take a look at how these... Just imagine, you know, they're, they're each accent fingers. You probably wouldn't wear it like this. But <laughs> they're each a different just accent nail. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a good one and uh, we'll see you back next time. Bye!